everyone. Welcome to my nature channel. Uh, I am MJ from MJ Miniature Worlds. And in this video, I just want to show a little experiment, a little filming experiment. Uh, I'm tossing around the idea for this new uh, series. And this video will be the introduction uh, to the playlist of that series. Uh, basically, I'm just going to, uh, I just put a couple of my cameras out there. Uh, on my property in some specific areas that I've chosen and uh, basically just start filming. Crank up the magnification a little bit and then uh, just film, uh, see if any critters uh, pass through the cam or, uh, and if anything, uh, they would be cool, I guess, you know, uh, landscape videos, <laughs> the mini landscape videos. So basically it'll be, it'll show uh, the plants as well as any critters that may pass through uh, the camera at the time, okay? And this is an example of the setup, and I, I mark it with these little flags that I made on little dowels, and very, very simple, and that'll just remind me where these little plots are. Basically, uh, with the dandelion uh, plot, uh, dandelions are great uh for attracting pollinators and I've often seen uh, butterflies and other insects you know all around the dandelion flowers so a good place to uh, film to try to capture some of those pollinators and some of them can be really really cool looking so uh, there's also a lot of predator prey interactions going around going on around uh, dandelions and other flowers so obviously uh, these are going to be areas that I would like to film and for the plants themselves now my little plots are dis are distributed all around and this is also to help me remember not to mow around here uh, this is the very edge of the property and there's a nice marshy woodland here excellent habitat and this little plot has uh, a, a lot of different uh, little habitats on it and so again putting the camera here uh, I didn't do it today in this experiment, but just filming whatever's there, I think it's going to be interesting. I usually leave the camera out uh, anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes. Uh, some areas I'll probably leave it a little longer, and of course I have to go through all the footage once it's filmed. Those are, uh, by the way, uh, some cute little plants I, I found uh, in an opening. Now, a lot of stuff is growing. I, I don't know my plants as well as I know my invertebrates. So any plants you guys can identify, yeah, that'll be great. And probably a lot of ornamental stuff uh, on the property as well, you know. Uh, here's a spider, one of the spiders uh, from my last video. Uh, the last video uh, that I called the detritus fields. Uh, you can see it in the cards. And uh, these are the spiders that are running around uh, in a lot of the grassy litter and also uh, the areas with moisture. Okay, and here's a spiderling. So I really don't know what these are. I, I thought they were Dolomites, probably not. Um, and of course, uh, some slugs here uh, just plopped the camera down after uh, turning over one of the logs. And of course, uh, once that is done, uh, Putting it back would just be a courtesy thing <laughs> to these guys. So check this uh, footage out. And this is the kind of stuff that I want to capture with this series. Look at the spider under the dandelion. Okay? Just watch it a second. Alright? And there you go. It grabbed an insect. I don't know what it grabbed. Uh, hopefully future cams will uh, document that a little closer. Uh, this is a very small spider and I'm suspecting it was a gnat or, or something uh, like a plant hopper actually. Uh, we do have a lot of plant hoppers uh, around here in this grassy jungle. So hopefully capture some of those too. And as I said before the series will be aiming uh, at capturing some pollinators and maybe they're predators. These flowers uh, you, you heard that big bumblebee. These flowers uh, have a lot of things in them usually, especially as summer progresses. I think there's a gnat or something crawling about in, in this footage. Like I said, uh, these were left out about uh, 10 minutes, the camera. So, yeah, there looks like a gnat or something uh, on the 
flower. But hopefully we'll capture some interesting things. Now the next one is an ornamental. And uh, I think it's an ornamental. Again, I don't know my plants. Uh, these are thorny, prickly, very uh, fuzzy, as you can see. And I thought it was a very interesting uh, perspective uh, filming it this way. Uh, the camera is on its uh, lowest little tripod. And basically, I want to put things eye to eye and, and just uh, bring, you know, crank up the magnification a little bit and see what comes into view. So basically, like a little field cam. And again, I will may have to leave these out uh, for longer. I'm probably going to do like film two little plots at a time. Yeah, videos won't be too, too long, but hopefully we can capture some interesting things. And if anything, I cannot guarantee that things will crawl into view. But uh, definitely, it, if anything, we'll have some cool landscape videos, as I said before. You know, if anything, we can enjoy some, some of these uh, eye-level videos uh, with a bit of a higher magnification. And it's cool because you can see all the structures on the plants and uh, hopefully on the critters too, uh, at least on some of them. So this is going to be a companion playlist to what I do with the terrariums and the vivariums. Uh, it'll just be uh, supplemental information and I'll do it uh, probably towards the end of the week. Uh, we can film at different times of the day. Uh, of course, because different things are active at different times and probably not during the hottest hours either. So, uh, again, I chose these little areas because they were the areas where I uh, took my spade and that's took soil from it, plants from it, and that's how I make my little terrariums. So, this is a little uh, water ditch that I have on the property, and this is uh, one of the other boundaries uh, to the property. And here uh, you have a lot of amphibians. You definitely uh, have a lot of invertebrates. I use this little temporary water ditch uh, for one of my aquariums. So here is uh, another uh, interesting little footage that the camera caught. Um, just check out for a moment. Uh, you'll see there there is a critter uh, being captured by the camera, uh, but I didn't notice. It took me a while to notice uh, until I actually started editing the video. So we'll see him. There he is. He just got up and left, and it's one of those spiders. And again, this, this little uh, plot here was the inspiration for the detritus fields uh, that I made up. Okay, and you can hear some birds in the background. And sometimes I'll uh, stop narrating and just let the birds uh, play. So uh, I'll find some uh, cool little facts and, and uh, anything that shows up in the cam you know, we'll talk about it a little bit. Uh, just narrate the videos a little bit with some fun facts. And uh, that's about it. And it's basically satisfies a lot of my curiosity about these miniature worlds. You know, uh, these are things that we often overlook, you know, in our own gardens and stuff. So, and I was just moving and experimenting the camera the, the whole day experimenting with the different little areas. Here's a little uh, planter and uh, we have a few lilies here. These are a few. Uh, everything has to be cleaned out. It was neglected and so uh, we haven't really done anything with this yet. So I put the cam here because it's kind of a wild planter at this point. Uh, like I said, there's some lilies here that were here with the property and uh, you can see some holes on the lilies, and we're going to see why in just a minute. And, of course, whenever I do this, I capture basically whatever's out there. And, uh, yeah, there's some scarlet lily beetles, which are, if you're growing lilies, these are not your friends. They're very damaging to lilies, and they belong to a family called Chrysomelidae. 
and some estimates in terms of the diversity um, at 37,000 uh, different species. That's a lot for just one family. But again, uh, different sources will tell you different things depending on uh, the science behind it. It's a shame. I mean, these are very handsome beetles. Uh, leaf beetles are generally very, very pretty, uh, but they can also be very damaging. And, and especially uh, anyone growing lilies, they know very well what these critters do. Uh, here, we don't have uh, too many of them, which is interesting. Uh, that's one of the big problems about invasive species. Uh, these are from Asia, by the way. Um, you know, the problem is, of course, they come, they invade, they come to these areas and then uh, there's no real uh, predation. They're not kept in check by predation or anything that normally keeps it in check in, in, in its native habitat. And so they just, their populations explode and they can be very, whatever organism it is, can be uh, very damaging, you know, to uh, the ecosystems that they invade. All right, well, I am showing this boulder here because this is a place where a lot of things during the summer like to run through. Uh, beetles, I've seen large beetles and things like that. So uh, to me, this looks like almost like some kind of uh, miniature mountainscape landscape. Uh, so I added uh, this sort of uh, some supplemental areas that I'm going to just plop the camera down and see what it captures. Uh, It'll be an interesting little little series, I think. And again, if anything, it'll just have some cool miniature landscapes. I mean, that's basically what the premise is. Remember, if you uh, want to support MJ Miniature World, all you have to do is like and subscribe. If you uh, like what I'm attempting to do here, definitely like and subscribe. Uh, we... I will uh, probably for, uh, start filming the clips uh, the end of this week, and that's going to be very weather dependent. Uh, and I'm also going to wait a little bit until things get a uh, little bit warmer. Uh, this has been a very cold spring for us here in northeastern PA, so things are still trying to kind of wake up, and you know everything else. So we've had a, a really tricky winter. So uh, anyway, folks, uh, that'll be all. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.